with this gourd, it has not been polished. It's just a basically cleaned gourd. And in order for it to be a little more conditioned and more like a polished gourd, I'm going to be applying some Formula 49 uh, shell conditioner. And with this, I'm going to be adding a little bit of a shimmer to the gourds. Okay, I'm going to be using a, a brand new product with the Formula 49. These are the transparent pigment powders. And they are different from the regular line of pigment powders, as you can see. Here is a regular pigment powder. And you see the nice bold color. And here is the new transparent pigment powders. And all the transparent pigment powders look white. But when you put them on, there is a nice subtle color, a nice glimmer color that you'll be able to see when I mix some of the gold into my Formula 49 and apply it. I'm going to make myself a nice puddle of the Formula 49. This goes a very long way. It's really good for removing ink if you've, um, you're doing, working on a project and maybe you've gone outside the lines and uh, you want to clean it up a little bit. You would just take a little bit of the Formula 49 on your felt pad, just on the tip, dip it in and just, just ba you know, go around the area where you've gone outside the lines that removes it. It also removes the inks from your fingernails. I had a lot of ink in my fingernails and you know how a lot of times you get the ink in your hands, it'll come off your skin, but it's still stuck in your fingernails. The Formula 49 is great for removing that. So back to the color. I'm going to be using the Shimmer Gold in the Transparent Pigment Powder. And with my little scoop here, I'm just going to take out about a half of a scoop to start with. And I always want to start away from my puddle. Okay, so I'm just going to mix that shimmer gold into my Formula 49. You can already tell that it's starting to, to bring on a little bit of a gold tinge. This is going to be very subtle onto the, um, the natural gourd. And again, using the felt, I'm just going to start applying over the entire surface. And I'm not careful. I want to go over my butterfly because this Formula 49 is conditioning the gourd at the same time and it's going to help those inks to really flow nicely when I start painting the wings. Okay, I'm not really seeing a lot of color there, so I'm going to add a little bit more of the shimmer gold. I'm going to go ahead with the whole scoop. Okay, that's starting to look better. That's taking on a nice subtle golden shimmer. And I'm just going to go over the entire gourd. Now, again, I'm using the uh, transparent pigment powders because I want the natural look of the gourd, but I want just a little bit of shimmer. And um, it's just going to add enough shimmer where it's not in your face glittery. It's just going to be add a nice, rich look to it. And after that's applied evenly over the entire surface. I want to heat set this and then we'll go on to painting those wings. This is looking really pretty. Let me turn that around so you can see it. Now, can you see that shimmer that's in there? The Formula 49 takes a little bit longer to dry than the ink dyes, but it's worth the extra time because it 
because when you put the ink over the top of them, they slide and um, they just they move around much uh, easier and blend much nicer than on an otherwise dry gourd. Okay, I have the Formula 49 all dried and set, so we're going to start painting the butterfly. Okay, we're going to do the wings next. And what I'm using today for the, the wings, we want a transparent wing. Um, the dragonflies have this beautiful, iridescent, shimmery, transparent wing. I'm using the, the Gourd Master Gourd Varnish and the transparent pigment powders. So just a slight puddle of the Gourd Varnish. You don't even need as much as what I have there. And I'm going to put quite a bit of the um, pigment powder here and mix it in. Make sure you mix it in really, really well. And you're going to start seeing some color. I hope the camera is picking that up. Um, this is very, very transparent. So in order to give it a little bit more color so that you can see the, um, the so that the wings are more visible, I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that same green that I used on the body and I'm going to start mixing it into the varnish and pigment mixture here until I get the, the desired color. And again, you can use any colors you want. You just use your imagination, play with them, and find out what works best for your piece. And this is how I get most of my ideas on things. I just sit down and start playing with the inks. And you'd be surprised what you come up with. Okay, now that looks kind of dark for a wing, but when we start applying it to the gourd, and we're not going to worry about going over the veins, but you see how pretty that's starting to look? That's really pretty. And you're getting the transparent wing look. You want to work fairly fast with the varnish because it will dry faster than if you were just using the inks by themselves. But there is still plenty of time to work with them. There's one side. Is the camera picking that up nice where you can see the shimmer? If you look at it straight on, you don't necessarily see the iridescent look, but as you move it around, you're getting the real nice shimmer. And you can go back over this again a second time if you want to, if you're not happy with what you're seeing the first go round. So there you go. You can set this with a heat tool again if you're in a hurry. There you go. You can tell that this these wings were used, uh, a different color was used on these wings in the body, but you see the two different looks. They're both pretty. And you finish it with some more of the protecting wax. Let me see. Let it sit to become foggy again. Once it's dried, you buff it up with a t-shirt knit or flannel and you've got your finished project.